Finally. <laughs> Oh. Yes, me! Oh my days! Hey, look at that! Wow! Right then guys, so we have been busy lately man and I mean busy. I've been travelling literally all over the country with Dominic fishing matches and different rivers and all sorts of things, barbel fishing and just all sorts of stuff and I've just managed to accumulate six videos, of film six videos I just haven't had a single minute to edit any of these videos, you know what I mean so don't worry guys, I know we haven't uploaded in nine days but literally we've got so much content coming in, it's unreal and we start right here man with carp fishing for beginners now I do have a lot of younger viewers that watch my channel, you know what I mean and one thing I do see a lot is people turning up to commercials and things like that. Fishing like just completely wrong sort of thing and it hurts me because it is so easy to go carp fishing at commercials. And today I'm going to show you just a few little tips on how to absolutely bag up at a commercial. And that brings me on to the next question. What do you need for a day's fishing at a commercial? Well, you will need a rod, a reel, some pole floats, and some bait and that is literally all you need one thing I do see happening all the time is people turning up with bite alarms and just sitting there all day and hoping but that is not the thing to do at a commercial because you can have such a good day with just a rod and reel and some of the techniques we're going to show you today so yeah all you need to do now is go online find yourself a commercial and get yourself fishing so you found your commercial it's time to get down there and get back in guys so you've got all your rod threaded up your line through it all you need to do now is get yourself a little dinky pole float get that thing threaded on there easy as you like I've got a little dinky pole float here there's no need for anything bigger really smaller the better in my opinion get that thing threaded on there then all you're gonna want to do is tie a little overhand loop knot easy simple just like I'm showing you right now Boom, done. Nip off the excess. And then you're going to want to tie yourself a hook link. Now this is usually lighter line than the actual main line that you're using. Get yourself no less than a 16 hook. Tie that all up and then you just want to put another overhand loop knot on your actual hook length. Thread that through there, easy, done. You literally set up, easy as that. I've put one piece of shot on there just to cock the float. But yeah, you're done. Now, all you're gonna need to do is get all your bait set up. Now, bait-wise today, all you're gonna need is some feed pellets. These are just four mil feed pellets. Some chunks of meat, that's just normal lunch of meat that I've um, used a cuba to um, turn into cubes of meat but you can do that with a pair of scissors we've also got a ball of paste now this can be made out of most ground baits and some sweet corn simple as that now also I have brought some just some little extra sink, um, nuggets there some little slow sinking nuggets and we've also got some um, ringers wafters in there as well just in case it's getting hard you don't really need these but I like to bring them just in case it's a hard day's fishing sort of thing these things can usually produce a couple of fish every now and again and then all you're going to need to do is get yourself a plummet once you've got your plummet stick that on the hook and you're just going to need to find the depth because that is the most vital part of fishing finding the depth because fish feed on the bottom mostly especially now it's getting a little bit colder those fish will be on the bottom 
So yeah, it's worth just plumbing up in two different places. Plumb up in the margin, right down to the left hand side here, or the right hand side here, whichever is easier for you. Once you've found the depth, just adjust the float that, as you need to. Make sure that bait is Shallow. on the bottom. Look at that. Hey. Shallow. It's also just worth plumbing out straight in front of you, just in case the margin's quiet through the morning. <laughs> no, but I've used it. Do you want some? I'll trade you. And there you go, as simple as that. Now we're straight into fishing. Now the main thing is you want to be feeding these feed pellets on a regular occasion. Regular. Throw them in. Every couple of minutes just throw a little handful, literally five or six feed pellets. Just keep throwing those in all day because that noise will bring those fish into the peg. All it is is a waiting game. Just wait for that float to go under while still feeding these feed pellets. And surely enough, some fish will probably turn up. And there you have it, straight into a fish. Literally took no time at all, using the techniques I've shown you today. So simple, it is literally how I spend every single session at a commercial fishing. I will not change my setup, I won't even bring a pole ever with me because I just, it's too much cuff fulling about and I just can't be doing with it. So yeah, I just like to fish on that rod and reel. It's a miles better fight against the fish. Also, just getting that clutch set right so those fish can tear off if they need to because you never know if you're going to hit into a big fish or a small fish. Mm. Feels like an alright fish. Like an alright little fish. Feels like it. Good few pound maybe. Good few pound maybe. Was just changing up until I found some that they wanted. Said they won't come on till about now though. Oh, decent fish. Boom. Boom. Right little lump man. Come on. Boom. And there you go, a decent little carp from your local commercial. Easy fishing all day. <laughs> And now just repeat the process again, keep those feed pellets going in, 
just keep changing up baits if you're not catching fish just so you can find what the fish actually want and you'll bag up all day crack back on crack back on now and let a caught one It now brought me cherry. One little cubometer. Finally. <laughs> Now the only thing left to do is to sit there all day, bag up and have a good time. Come on. Uh, tree. Oh, wow. One cube of meat. I was fishing two and I just put one bigger piece on. And one. Come on, big lad. He won't give up. Um. Nice fish. Let's bat the hook. So yeah, imagine catching one of them out at river. Imagine catching one of them out at river. Boom. Hello. Carry on bagging. So yeah guys, spend the rest of the day following these exact uh, techniques oh and you'll be bagging up all the so there you have it guys that's just a little guide on how to take yourselves to a commercial and catch just a few more fish because say this time of year it does quieten down a little bit the rivers and things aren't as 
prolific as they are through summer, you know what I mean? So yeah, get yourself to a commercial, do a little bit of bagging, and most of all, just have a bit of fun, man, because that is what it is all about. Enjoying yourselves, having a laugh with your friends, etc. you know? So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. There's plenty more episodes coming over the next few weeks, so yeah, make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.